night, and now yeah. it's just cold. That wind has a bite on it today, Kevin. It really does. It sure does, and you know what? I'll take the 80s from yesterday because our temperatures have fallen about 40 degrees in the wake of last night's big windstorm across the area. Let's talk about what's happening outside right now. It's been dry throughout the majority of the day, and it doesn't look terribly wet this evening. However, I do think sprinkles and showers will start to crank back up over the next couple of hours, and we're already seeing some of that. Like out towards Batavia, there's a few sprinkles, and then out out towards Milford, over towards Blue Ash and Loveland. Nothing heavy out there, but kind of a little mist, a little drizzle. And what's going to happen over the next couple of hours? Well, look what's to our west. We've got all of these clouds and a little weak storm center that's going to pivot its way through the Ohio Valley. That's going to attach itself to some colder air overnight tonight and probably squeeze out a few flakes of snow for us. Now, nothing obviously that's going to amount to much, but just a reminder that yes, we have fallen about 40 degrees from yesterday. Look at all the severe weather today from New York City all the way down into the Carolinas. This is last night's storm system. Again, we lucked out without the severe weather impacts, but boy, was it a windy system. Powerful storm as it came by. Look at Lunkin Airport, just shy of 70 mile an hour wind gust there, but we had frequent gusts throughout the night between 40 and 50 miles per hour. Fortunately, winds won't be that strong again, although they're going to stay blustery right on into Friday. Now here tonight, our sustained winds have come down to between 10 and 20. You remember yesterday they were sustained at 20 to 30, so we've seen the worst of the wind, fortunately. But as Ashley just alluded to, now those winds definitely have a bite to them. In fact, right now it feels like it's in the mid 30s outside. So yeah, it feels like it's more than 40 degrees colder than this time yesterday afternoon. So here we are at 42 right now officially here in Cincinnati. There's that southwest wind at 13. Most of us are in the low 40s at the moment. That's where we'll hang out here the next several hours through the evening. We'll hang out in the 40s before midnight. And then as those showers increase overnight tonight, temperatures will tumble their way down into the 30s. And the end result, it gets cold enough for a few flakes of snow to start to mix, mix in. So you can see here tonight, here comes the showers increasing again, not a lot of rain, but notice towards daybreak. That's right. A few flurries could whisk by early in the day tomorrow. After lunchtime, we get into more sunshine that sets us up for a cold Friday night. And then Saturday, the weekend doesn't look bad. Saturday starts dry outside for us, right? Probably with some sun early in the day, but then clouds move in pretty quickly. And by Saturday night, by dark, another little weak system is scooting through with a chance for some showers. This doesn't look particularly heavy, but it does look to deliver a little wet weather Saturday evening. So if you've got Saturday night plans, it looks like it could be a little wet, but your daytime activities should be fine Saturday. So breezy tonight, colder with some clouds, maybe a few rain or snow showers after midnight. And then tomorrow, early showers could either be a little bit of rain or maybe a few wet snowflakes. Eventually, we get up to about 48 by afternoon. Breezy, but still chilly too. Here's a look at your day planner. Again, more sun later in the day than what we'll start with. Here's a look at your seven day forecast, and this is how it plays out. We're in the 50s over the weekend, so it's not you know, unusually warm. It's not unusually cold either like la last weekend. So kind of a spring weekend around here. Again, some light showers on Saturday and then maybe a little busier weather pattern next week as well with a couple of opportunities for rain. All right, Kevin, thank you. We appreciate it. First support from one member of the GOP. Now a very outspoken report.